Hey, Go. hi everyone. This is Afraz Khan, and today we are really happy that we have one of the finest and the most talented gentlemen, Mr. Dalibo Stroh from the European market. He's from Czech Republic, and he's a powerful gentleman and who's helped a lot of people globally around the world. And he's really taken it to the next level, and he's one of the top rank holders down there in the European market, and he's been inspiring a lot of people. And I really requested Dalibo Stroh, sir, to have this Indian session breakout where he can really help us and how we can really take the opportunity at the ground level at this foundation period of time. So we are really glad and happy that we have him today and we can really hear it out from him. So let's take it out from Dalibur Stroke. So Mr. Dalibur Stroke, the mic's up to you now. Okay. Namaste India. Thank you very much, Sir Fras. Thank you for having me on this call. I'm super excited. Yeah. And uh, when I was putting my notes together, because I always have notes. So when you see me looking to the left or right or whatever it's uh, the side is, uh, I'm checking the notes because I really wanted to be sure that I will uh, mention everything what I wanted to share with you. Uh, maybe I will not share with you anything new, but uh, over the years I have came to the uh, conclusion that uh, Repetition is really the mother of all skin, the skills. So sometimes, uh, and it's my experience, sometimes uh, I had to hear the same thing for the 10th time to really understand it or to take, take action. So that's why uh, I will be talking about a lot of things that you probably know. And... Uh, my goal for this call would be uh, I would like to empower those who you know are already successful in the business. You have already achieved maybe some ranks or you maybe started selling some products to see the bigger picture, to you know, to strive to do more and really help others and show them the opportunity because you are the great example. You have already done some success, you have already done uh, you know the next rank and you can see others that it works and also i would like to empower those who you know maybe just got started didn't even sell one single product didn't even sign up one single distributor uh, to again see the potential and see the opportunity which is here in indian market and all the other markets too because this is not only about india guys it's the business is uh, worldwide so if you're just getting started i would like to see the opportunity and encourage you to start doing the steps uh, which will definitely lead to inevitable success i i don't really believe that uh, if you follow the steps that your appliance and your sponsor will share with you that you will not see any results. It's almost impossible. And uh, by the way, all of you guys that are on this call, you are already, you know, five percenters because only five percent of people are ready to take the action, to do something, to step out of the comfort zone and do something outside of their comfort zone. So congratulations. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that you are unique already you are already unique because you had to overcome fear. And we all have been there, you know, it doesn't matter if you if you look at, at uh, uh, the local leadership, uh, Adija, Safras, Moi, all these people, even though they already uh, achieved success, they've been there before. They've, they had to experience their fear and, you know, doubts and about, you know, am I good enough? Will I make it? I've been there myself, everybody who, you know, started doing something, they have at some point doubt about themselves. So when I, when I actually so started with this business and saw all the, success, the successful people, uh, you know, sharing their stories and sharing their success, I was a little bit, you know, confused and concerned about my qualities. So... I just want to let you know that even if, for example, you just got started today and I share with you the steps, what you should do in order to start building your business in, in India right now or anywhere in the world, it's not guaranteed that I will sign up 
somebody earlier than you. It's just about doing the steps, doing the actions, what we have to do in order to connect with people and show them that the business opportunities is there and uh, the decision it's on them. You know, we cannot do anything about their decisions. So it's all about knowing what you should, uh, you should uh, do and then keep doing it. Uh, I would like to start with a quote from Mahatma Gandhi because I believe everybody knows him, not only in India. And he said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. And of course, he was you know, fighting for much bigger goals uh, in India, but I can see a parallel here because when I got started with uh, the business here in Czech Republic, a lot of people were laughing at me and they just been ignoring me. And, you know, nobody took me serious. But if you start doing those things that leads to a little success, next, you know, next step is the little bit more success, then it's the next product that you, that you sell, then they just cannot ignore you. Nobody, and, and no matter who is that, you know, if it's your neighbor, if it's your spouse, if it's your friend, they cannot ignore you because then they start seeing your success. And probably, maybe in the future, they will join you because they, they already feel and sense the energy that you are relaxed, that you are your own boss. You decide when you want to work and they want it too. So this will, this will make uh, the difference. And understand, nobody has uh, you know, the point in their life when they think, OK, let, let's get started with this, and it will work 100%. Nobody. Nobody knows whether it will work or not. And basically, in network marketing, I believe that we know that it works, but we don't know why, uh, when, when exactly. You know, for some people, it takes one year for, for other people, maybe five years. For some people, even six months. So you never know when it will happen. So why I believe that today is the best time. Um, many people, when I talking to prospects and clients, they would tell me that the situation is not really good. You know, that maybe they lost business, they lost their job that the economy is doing you know, not really well, all these things. We all can see what is, what is happening right now, right? Uh, it's like shaky times. Uh, if you don't know what's, what's going on, uh, no worries. You know? <laughs> it's very confusing. Nobody understands what is, what is going on. But a little, I will just give you a little hint. Don't watch the television because you will not find out. Um, we have been talking about television and network marketing for a long, long time. We've been suggesting people not to watch the television. And today it's, uh, you know, 100%, uh, I'm 100% sure that you should not watch the television. For the simple fact, television will steal your energy, which you can use in order to build your future. So when, whether you watch uh, TV series or news, it's just stealing your energy, your life, and this energy and life you cannot put into your future, into happiness of your family. So that's uh, definitely something what I uh, recommend. Uh, but when, when I was uh, doing presentations many years ago, I was talking about uh, the change, you know, that the economy is changing and that uh, you know, automation is everywhere that a lot, of, a lot of robots can do the work of, you know, five people in factories that through technology, you know, a lot of people will lose jobs. But I couldn't imagine that it will be so fast. You know, it, will, it was so fast that now uh, when I was doing these presentations, maybe one month later, you know, there was something new. Today, two hours later, there is something new and something what was true two hours before is not true now. You know, the, the time is very fast and a lot of people are confused. So we as network marketers, we are used to it. 
You know, we are used to the business. It's always ups and downs. You know, somebody say yes, somebody say no. So we don't care if there are some shaky times. We know that we should focus on our stability, you know, be stable inside, know what we are doing, that we are doing it for other people as well, that we should be mentally strong because if we are mentally strong, we can help others. We can share this energy of mental strength with other people. Um, and I believe that uh, today is, especially because you know the shaky times are there, it's the time of, uh, of the leadership where people are looking for leaders. And I believe that the, the time is changing now that we don't want to see the leaders on the piedestal. We want to see the leaders that are ready to step back and you know, put somebody else on the pillar star for a short, short time, maybe. Um, you know, because we we should not be a good, we, we are we are not able to be good leaders if we stay on the pillar star forever. We are good leaders only to the extent where we see somebody who is eager to make some changes in their life, you know, lead a small group of people, and a small group of people could be two people and leave them and do the work, you know, show them that they can do the work as well and um, help them to, to grow. I remember when, uh, actually I'm talking about Joe and he's joining the call. It's very, very funny. Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to talk about you and you are joining the call. So you can see how the energy works. Uh, so at the time when I was very nervous, I was very, you know, uh, I was not confident about myself. Joe was always pushing me to uh, outside of my comfort zone. Uh, where I, remember, I remember on my first event where I qualified, he put me on stage and I started to, you know, giving a training in Russian, which is not my native language. I was all shaky, I couldn't talk, but he did it, you know. So I think that this is the time of the leadership where the leaders actually step back and uh, leave the pedestal or the stage to others because they can, they can do the work. Even though they think they, they cannot, we know that they can. So that's the, that's the mission, what we have here in network marketing, especially these days, these times. So now let me talk about uh, the reasons why, uh, why actually working from home is a great opportunity these days. Just the simple fact, work from home. Uh, when I started work from home, um, when I was working for advertising agency and I, lost, uh, I, I left my job, and I started working from home, many of my friends would tell me, oh, you are so great, you know, you can work from home, you don't have to go to work and all these things and everybody see it as an advantage. Of course, there are not only advantages, there are some disadvantages because you have TV at home, you have, you know, uh, your refrigerator where you can go every five minutes, you can go and, uh, you know, have, have your coffee every 10 minutes and have a sleep. So working from home is uh, perceived generally as something great. You know, a lot of mm, young mothers on maternity leave, they would tell me, yes, I would love to find something where I can, I can get extra money, but I want to work from home because I have two kids. I cannot move from my home. And uh, they, they are looking for these opportunities. Not only, you know, young uh, ladies, of course, but many people. I, over the years, I spoke to a number of people and it, I was shocked that some people would tell me that they spent maybe up to two hours just going to their work. Okay, still joining new people. Thanks for coming, guys. So can you imagine you have a job where you travel two hours to get there, then you spend, I don't know, eight hours, and then you travel another two hours to get back home. It's almost half of your productive time at work you spend 
in a car where you don't make money, you spend money. So it's it's just a you know, no-brainer that people are looking for a home-based business these days, especially when you know, there are some lockdowns. We don't know how many lockdowns there will be in the future. Uh, you know, people are sick of those things. So they are looking for ways how to make money from home. Um, next, you can work when you want. So if you are not uh, early bird, you can sleep till 11, you know, and then start working. If you love to work in the, uh, during the night, you can find a team in United States if you are in Europe. And during your night, you can do your business with the United States, you know. So it's, uh, it's, it's a, you know, freedom of choice, what you're going to do, where you're going to do it, and with whom you're going to do it. So a lot of people, including my sister, for example, she's been changing her job many times. And always it was the same story. The people don't understand, you know, I want to make everything as it's supposed to be. You know, the software doesn't uh, work correct. I want to implement some changes they don't understand. And my boss is, you know, crazy, uh, if, if I put it nicely. So a lot of people, a lot of people are sick of their environment, those people that they have to work with. And in network marketing, if you don't like someone in your team, that's fine. You know, we are, we are human. We are not here to please everybody. If you don't like someone from your downline or your upline, you simply don't work with them. That's okay. You can choose who you want to work with. If you like, like someone down deep in your downline, you can work with them. If you like someone you know, far above your, your sponsor, you can just connect with them. You can work with them. It's very simple. So another great reason why people looking for a home-based business uh, right now. Uh, there are no overhead costs. And it's something very, very important because when I talk to business owners, they always talk about overhead costs. Uh, you have to work, you have to pay for the employee, you have to pay the wages, you have to pay for the rent, you have to pay all the different stuff, the website, you know, the, the, the designer, all these things, you have to pay for it. With network marketing, you don't have to buy any equip, equip, equipment which you don't have. You, you have your home, you have your electricity, you have your uh, phone. And you just use this, what you already got. And we show you how you can use your phone to start reaching out to people and see if they are open to your business opportunity. Now in India, I know that it's um, a big topic uh, because I've been talking to people from India for many years. And almost always it was very same uh, response, very similar response. Okay, come to my place. I'm in uh, you know, Rajasthan or Punjab or in uh, Delhi or wherever, and let's talk the business. So I know that uh, India in this sense is very traditional market. And by the way, I'm very tr traditional too. I, I like to see people I'm doing the business with. I like to shake hands. I like to, you know, talk to them face to face. But if it's not possible, if you know there are some obstacles, we just simply don't say, okay, I give up. We just find a way how to do it you know, in a smarter way. And I know that in India now, there are a lot of people that using the strategy that they are using their phone to identify the, you know, the prospects, then connect with them and then do the presentation either over online tool or uh, you know, just send them the presentation via WhatsApp. Very simple and very duplicable system that you can show to others. You know, a lot of people will tell you the same what I've heard from, from the Indian prospect that, okay, if you want to build business with me, come to my place. And you can tell them, look, I, can, I don't want to spend your money. I don't want to spend your time 
and I, I don't want you to spend the money for traveling in the future. So I will show you the way how you can reach out to people easily with your mobile phone right now. You don't have to go anywhere. Of course, some people will not accept it, but you know that's, <laughs> that's their business. There is nothing you can do about it. But many people will be actually open because they understand that travel costs a lot of money and time. And if you travel for six hours and you, you didn't have a single one presentation in these six hours, and I can show you a system where you can connect with hundreds of people and during six hours do a 50 presentation if you like, then it just makes economic sense. And this is something what you should, uh, sir, uh, you should uh, um, share with your prospects and stress this out that this is a business where they don't have to spend extra money on you know, renting the office or traveling to somewhere to meet somebody. This is not the, the business. Of course, they can, uh, no problem, but that's not necessary. You can show them the business as it is without you know, necess uh, uh, the necessity of uh, uh, spending more money. Okay, next topic I have here is that it that is one of the simplest simplest business concept uh, you can use. Basically, these skills everywhere. You can use the skills in your daily life. You can use the skills in your traditional business. If you are, you know, thinking about starting a traditional business, you can definitely use these skills, which you have learned from network marketing uh, there. I remember when I was uh, presenting uh, our business to my friend, very successful business guy. Okay, I've got call from India. <laughs> okay, um, very successful business guy. And uh, he said, okay, uh, this is not for me. I really like your concept. This is not for me, I'm busy with my business. But I really have to tell you something. You are doing great thing. And basically, when some of my friends were asking me about my business and they wanted to do business with me because they, they knew that I'm successful, I always told them, go and do network marketing for a couple of years. And if you survive, if you still will be in the business, then come back and I will teach you my business. You know, so, so network marketing is like a, free school for business people and it's very very simple you know it's it's a system which everybody can duplicate you know the other question is why are the, why people are not duplicating it but we will get to that <laughs> um, another reason especially last two years let's say most people i'm talking to are really health conscious I'm, I, and it's everywhere. It's not just India, it's everywhere. You know, because people started to understand that uh, it's better to avoid, you know, any health conditions and be healthy and have a lot of, you know, um, uh, fun and, you know, feel good and a lot of energy uh, instead of feeling sick and, you know, with low energy and all this stuff. So, and of course in India, you guys, have uh, Ayurveda, so many people are actually more likely to choose something from the nature than something, you know, chemical. And I can see is it, it's a huge trend now. So people rather choose the natural stuff over chemical stuff. So this is what we have. This is what you can share with, you know, your prospects, your, your customers. And uh, we have seen, as you know better than me, we have seen incredible results with the products. So you just go and share, you know, uh, your personal experience or experience of, of uh, your friends and family, uh, family members and your uh, prospects. So again, this can, uh, this can help a lot of people, um, you know, to feel better. That's, that's what our business is all about. We helping people to feel better because our product works, you know, on different uh, systems. And when, you know, one product uh, uh, helps with this system and another product helps with that system, the whole body getting into, into the natural stage where 
the body is actually able to heal itself. You know, you, we don't need anything from outside to be healthy. We are created, um, you know, by God. We know that the, our body knows what to do in order to be healthy. Sometimes we need a little, a little help from the nature, but there is more and more people starting to realize that and understand it. And um, one thing which I, it's part of training um, that it's really important to see the other side of the coin, you know, because we are a member of the, of the business already, we only see the one side. And the, more, the longer we are with the company, the longer we are using the products, we see only one side of the coin. We are less able to see the other side of the coin, which is that, you know, it's difficult, that it's uh, very difficult for people from outside to see what we are seeing from inside. So we have to respect those people that choose whatever they choose, you know, if they choose to say, no, this is not for me, or they choose fear, because fear is one of the major reasons why people don't join, join the network marketing. That's the reason why people are not able to start uh, changing their, uh, their lifestyle. That's the fear, because the, uh, the comfort zone is something where they feel already comfortable so if if the, we are talking about some changes that we uh, can be uh, responsible for our life that that's really something you know what doesn't feel good at the beginning so we should respect it and sometimes in many cases actually when people cannot see that i believe it's uh, very good to respect their decision and let them grow. Maybe you can wear, you can get back to them, you know, later uh, when they have they have some more experience in life when they gone, go through, you know, some uh, learning curve. And um, then you can you can you know connect with them again. So never burn the bridges. Uh, always keep your leads uh, on your you know list um, because you never know what will happen you know, two months from now, six months from now, two years from now. Okay. Um, talking about fear, I think that there is definitely more people now that are open-minded because uh, they, have, they have seen over, you know, the years that uh, the, the system doesn't actually work. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki uh, was talking about it, you know, for many years that uh, having a job is an obsolete idea. Today, we can see it more, you know, th that's more true than ever. Um, even people with great businesses, great jobs, they lost them. They lost the businesses, they lost their jobs. Not all of them, of course, but in many businesses, in many areas of our life, you know, these businesses and our jobs are, are gone, basically. Um, so I believe that today, today is the time when you should not be afraid of talking to people about home-based business. I remember myself, I've been afraid because I didn't get the success I didn't get the results. I didn't make any money at the beginning. And uh, I thought in order to tell someone else, I have to be successful myself. Otherwise it will not work. But that's complete nonsense. That's not true. You should always use the success of your company, of all your uplines and leaders and people that are around you. Maybe you have someone in your team that already sold one product. That's a success, that's incredible success. And you can use this success and you can tell people that you are just getting started, but you work with people that already achieved great success and that they teach you step-by-step step what to do in order to get the success yourself as well. 
And you can share this with everybody. This is a magical sentence, which you can basically share with anybody. No matter who will ask you about your business, even if it's your boss or somebody who you know that is making a lot of money, you don't have to be afraid to go to them and show them a business opportunity where they can create extra income. Every business person is looking for extra income. Every business person understand that if I have one business today, doesn't mean I will have it tomorrow. That's why business people want one source of income here, one source of income there, and ideally on different continents. Because if something happened you know, in Europe, then you still have your business in India. If something happened in India, you can cover the expenses with your business from United States, you know? So don't be afraid to tell people about it. They are waiting for that. They are waiting for someone to tell them. You should not be the one who will not tell them. If you don't tell them, someone, somebody else will. Okay, and now, these were pretty much uh, like materi material reasons why this business uh, is, uh, is a great idea, especially these days. But let me talk about a little bit spiritual reasons. And um, again, I remember Joe uh, told me that in order to help people to succeed, succeed we just need to help them to rise their conscious level. And at that time when he told me that, I understood it uh, from, from my mental point of view. I understand that, yeah, it makes sense. It, it's probably true, but I didn't understand, you know, uh, didn't understand it inside. But when you are rising your level of consciousness, you just understand, you, you know, nobody will give you any, any you know, Beige for that, you, you will not get recognized on stage, but you just understand that something has happened. You know, if you are able to uh, fight your fear, you just rise your conscious level above the fear level. Because when people are on lower levels, which is fear, that's why we have to understand that a lot of people are rejecting us, rejecting themselves basically with the business. But it's only because they are on the level which is really down, down, and it's fear. But if you help them to start believing in themselves and start feeling the inner power, then it will change. You know, then you don't have to actually uh, tell them how to you know, talk to people about business, how to talk to people about products, because then they will connect to the higher energies, which is you know, like love and compassion. And then when you, when you operate from that level of, of uh, consciousness, then it just goes automatically. So I understand that uh, just rising level of consciousness itself doesn't probably help when you cannot pay your bills. So it should be really balanced. So we should help them to rise the level of consciousness a little bit, help them with the books, with the self-help uh, literature and, you know, show them that they are already great. They don't have to, um, you know, doubt about themselves. But also we have to show them some tools, how they can reach the little victories, like sell one product. And if we do this, you know, step by step, then it goes up and up and up and then these people don't need you. And that's the best what can happen in your career in network marketing when your people that you, you know, started, uh, you, you showed them the business, you helped them get started, you taught them what to do step by step, and then they are just gone and they don't need you. That's the most beautiful thing what can help uh, happen to you as a leader if your people say, okay, so for us, thank you very much for everything what you've done. I've got, I've got my team, I don't need you anymore. And you know that's something where we can help a lot of people from outside of our business because as I said, we got used to shaky times. You know, It's always ups and down, ups and down. Somebody will tell you yes, somebody will tell you no. 
and we don't care we know that it's life so whatever is happening outside you know one day they say this one second day they say that we know that the the truth is somewhere in the middle maybe but most importantly we should be able to find the truth inside inside of us so my truth for the business is whenever somebody is willing to learn i'm here to help them whenever somebody is willing to do the work i'm sure that they will see the success you know maybe a little bit at the beginning but there is no way how people cannot reach success if they do the work if they continue working on themselves um i have uh, i have uh, one uh, note here that uh, basically the physical uh, physical action without some inner guidance it's like mm, like biry biryani without rice right you cannot have biryani without rice so if you take the physical action only without the inner work the spiritual work maybe it sounds too crazy for some of you guys but without being um, able to identify what's your uh, what's your goal or what's your intention intention is the good word so for example i can see myself many years ago sitting in front of computer being super nervous because i couldn't pay my bills and now starting do call, doing calls and connecting people online because of that energy i didn't have the breakthrough i still you know been facing the same issues the lack of money people were saying no you know most of the time uh, and very few people were saying yes but when when uh, when you have the inner guidance and when you start to believe in your dreams and you work with uh, your dreams as with something real and you work with them on daily basis and then you start belief in what you dream about then when the energy the the level of consciousness i'm i'm pretty sure is rising up as well and you can reach these things you know so when you rising uh, the level of consciousness this way by seeing the results seeing the uh, the uh, next person you sign up or seeing the the, the team you, you got you know let's say you have already thousand people in your downline and you can see you can feel that energy you can feel uh, how it's how it how it feels like to have team like this then you are ready to do the phone calls you know you should do the phone calls from the positive vibration from the positive energy not from the negative if you're doing the phone calls because well how i need the money it will not work it will be more difficult for you uh, than if you are able to work with uh, yourself with your mood and rise the level of energy and then be you know uh, super positive and do the work from the positive uh, positive um, uh, mood uh, i'm not sure if uh, you know this book is for everyone it's pretty tough book but i definitely suggest you if if some something what i said if what i said somehow resonated with you then i definitely suggest you to read the book from david hawking he's a medical doctor phd and the name of the book is transcending the level of consciousness and the stairway to enlightenment and he's exactly describing the level of consciousness which are measurable you know you can measure the level of consciousness and uh, he explains what is happening on the lower levels on the higher levels so it's something what can also help you to understand uh, the mentality of people that are still on the level of fear and of course because you are already on high level you can understand it you can see it from outside and you can help these people and this is this is uh, you know one of the maybe spiritual reasons why i believe that uh, our business 
is um, something what you know will flourish during these days because a lot of people are very confused they are you know worried about their future and we are in self development business we are in a leadership business we are in health business and all these you know segments are exactly what people are looking for right now so um i would end uh, this with another quote uh, by um, Mahatma Gandhi, which I really like, uh, that you be the good, um, be the change you want to see in the world. Guys, uh, who can change things if you don't like something in your country, in your city, you know, in what's going on in, in your life? If you don't like it, you can change it. Nobody else. We are changing our lives. You know, we are creators of our own life. There is, I don't know how many billion people and we are consciousness creating our, our reality. So there are 7 billion consciousnesses around the world and we create our own con uh, world, basically. If you study a little bit uh, quantum physics, then these uh, scientists actually tell you, yes, that's true. There is nothing like objective reality. We all are living in our head and we projecting our reality outside. So if you want the reality nice, then smile. That's the first step. You know, if you want to help other people, tell them about the business and you will get the support from your upline, from, from your downline, from, you know, or your leadership uh, to help them see the potential, what we can already see uh, from, from inside. So hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sofras, for putting this call together. Looking forward to see you again very soon. If you have any questions, I'm open for any questions, but I, I guess uh, most of this I already told you a couple of times. So over to you, Sofras, thank you. Thanks, thanks, uh, Dalibo has been an fabulous uh, session and it was inspiring and we can see on the look of your face how positive it's not just the financial freedom what we get to go learn from this it's not that i think uh, what we have learned today is basically there should be uh, basically a purpose in life right and if i get up in the morning and if i don't see a purpose i think that really would not excite me so yeah. what we learned today from you is we need to have a purpose. Every day someone joins network marketing. I think uh, everybody wonders <laughs> that is he going to make it up? Uh, he thinks whether he can be successful in this profession. So there's no secret like, you know, every person thinks that this new business, how do I generate leads? How do I get the business going? And I have seen that, you know, a lot of people just go and focus on, you know, income source. They don't even see what company they're joining. They don't even see if that company's product is backed up with science. Is this product relevant? Is the product whether you're personally going to use it or you're going to recommend the product? So there are so many questions what people have which they don't basically understand before getting into the, you know, proper company. So this subject of yours has been, uh, you know, industry focus. It's been like, where do you really want to put yourself in? Because if you're putting yourself at a giant industry and if you're looking at a giant company and you're looking in for a giant step, you need to go properly. You need to direct yourself and you need to believe in yourself and you need to take the decision that this is it. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to put myself in a strong years to come together. So great. We have loved it. And thank you, Dalibo, for your great inspiring words. And we would love to have more of sessions out from your side. So thanks everyone for joining us today. And we really thank each and everyone who's made it today. And we'll send the recorded version by Dalibo uh, very soon on YouTube as well as we share the link. So anybody who has got any questions, you can please shoot it up and I'll put it across to Dalibo. Have a good day. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Dalibo. Thank you, Safran. Bye-bye. Yeah.